Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how you can put this spaceship from a rival movie to your footage or this footage of mine because I will be providing this footage in the description below. You can download it. So let's take a look up on what we're going to do. Okay, as you can see, we have the spaceship, the arrival spaceship, and then it's animated. On this frame, we're going to see some maybe dust that shows the force of the moving spaceship. And then we also have this mist effect right here and also here. And we're going to learn how you can light the 3D object to get this kind of shadow. Okay, so let's start. First, I will be providing you this footage and this arrival scratch metal material and also this OBJ arrival spaceship. Unfortunately, I can't give you these assets, the dust and smokes because they are from videocopilot.net and from this product Action Essentials 2 you can check it out it's very useful for VFX compositing and CG stuff so check it out so first things first Go to your documents and then video copilot and under materials create a folder here any folder for example a great mine great studio then put the arrival scratch metal material to this folder so I already have this material on another folder so I'll just delete this and then put the OBJ file to documents video copilot and then models put it somewhere here put it in a folder or no it's up to you and then let's drag our footage into a new comp and this footage is kind of long, so I'm going to trim it into maybe just 5 seconds for the sake of the tutorial. So, trim comp area. You have 5 seconds of footage. I'll put this into half. And then select our footage and go to tracker. If you don't see this tracker on your panel here on the right, go to windows and then tracker so select our footage and click track camera on this go to advanced and then click detailed analysis okay once we're done we're gonna see a lot of that's here on the footage let me turn this into full for now so when you hover your mouse on the footage, I'm just hovering it on the footage, we're going to see a circle when we hover our cursor on the footage. So in here we're just going to find a flat surface that represents this area or this field. So okay. I think right here is pretty flat so once you click it, we're going to highlight three points that represents the flat surface. So after clicking it, right click and first we're going to set the ground plane and origin. And then right click again. We're going to create a solid and a camera. Okay. 
So first we're going to check if the solid is properly trapped on the footage. Okay, for me, it's kind of fine. So let's continue. I'm going to hide this solid layer. I'm going to create a new layer and call it the color doesn't matter. So I'm going to call it Element 3D. And then on our effects and presets, I'm going to search Element. Then apply it on the solid. Then I'm going to scene setup and then on the viewer panel navigate 3d object that I provided in the link description or you can go to import and find the 3d object here just press ok here oh, on the first alignment I'm going to put bottom press ok as you can see we have a big spaceship right here it's, it's just a simple cinema 4d model that i created and then go into presets and then navigate to the folder that you put our arrival scratched metal i'm going to apply it on our model just press ok and i'm gonna see our model let's press ok okay next we're going to duplicate this aerial footage and then rename this into reflection and then just hide it also do not forget to delete the 3d camera tracker on the reflection footage so we're going to the element 3D layer and then go to custom layers and custom texture maps and then on layer 1 we're going to navigate the reflection layer that we created which is this one and current frame is ok then going to scene setup click on the environment tab and on this down arrow just click it and you'll see our aerial shot custom layer which is the reflection layer or layer so click it and then press ok as you can see the environment is reflecting on our 3d model then press ok I'm going to element 3d again I'm going to go to group 1 since on the scene setup as you can see our group folder is on group 1 so we're going to group 1 and then group utilities and then create a group null just click create going to make a null object that can control our 3d object so I'm gonna rename this layer to Spaceship Control. Okay. I'm gonna position this spaceship somewhere here. Like in the original example that I showed you earlier. So one way to do this to get the exact position somewhere here is going to our footage clicking on the 3d camera tracker and then find the point that you want to put our spaceship so I want it to be somewhere right here this one so just click the point and then right click create a null created this null now I'm going to press P so on this null I'm going to click on the position and then edit, copy, and paste it on our spaceship control. As you can see, it jumped. So we can now delete this 
and we have our spaceship in that location.